Hello there, folks. My name is Matthew Mpemba, and I'm the creator of the webcomic series Matt and Zoop. If you ever wanted to check it out, please head over to mattandzoop.com to check that out. Now, let's get started. Um, as the title suggests, this is a hidden gem that I've been following since 2015. I haven't seen much come up from it, and I'm hoping that they haven't discontinued the prod, uh, project, but I'm really, uh, but it's an interesting take on it. Uh, it's called Hullabaloo. Uh, it was, it's by a team, uh, that's a team of veteran Disney artists and animators that have like nearly like over a hundred years of experience in the animation film industry. Uh, James Lopez, he's a veteran of the Disney animation world with 25 years in the industry himself, uh, he was actually, uh, he's part of the animation for CalArts. Uh, he actually helped coin and design that CalArts situation that we've seen today in like Adventure Time, Steven Universe. So he's kind of got that all mixed up and all worked together. Uh, he worked on several Disney films, including The Lion King, The Princess and the Frog, Pocahontas, Flushed Away, Hercules, including The Emperor's New Groove, and in, in the, I think if we all know about the little shorts that they had uh, within um, the Disney ones, I think it was called Paper Man, it was the one with the little, uh, the, the man and the woman who were sitting there and... Um, the papers were kind of flying all over the, I guess, you know, hidden sense of the uh, paper man type of thing. Uh, he's also had some work that was done for Frozen, Aladdin, Wreck-It Ralph, Beauty and the Beast. I mean, the, the guy is, uh, like I said, he's a veteran. Uh, James Lopez, he's been in this for a lot. So apparently he's daring to go off by himself now and he's creating from what feels like it's taking forever. And then again, uh, animation can take as long as it wants because animation is incredible, especially the 2D art that is 2D animation. It is just, to me, 2D animation has a special place in my heart because, well, I'm a 90s kid, so most of the things that came out at the time were 2D animation, which was a peak, in my opinion, was incredible. You see so many of those things now. Uh, so, what is Hullabaloo exactly? Hullabaloo is the story of Veronica Daring, a brilliant young scientist who returns home from an elite, uh, from an elite finishing school to find her father, who is an eccentric uh, inventor named J Jonathan Daring, who was actually who just went missing. Uh, Veronica. Uh, t uh, Excuse me. Points towards uh, daring adventures and abandoned amusement parks used by her father to test fantastical steam-powered inventions. There, she discovers a strange girl named Jules, a fellow inventor who agrees to help Veronica in locating her missing father and discovering the secrets of his work. So apparently, there's this big drawback. Uh, this big, uh, and again, from what you see, if the, from the images, from the pictures, from the story itself, this is a this is steampunk all the way. Um, the one thing I have to point out, though, it's, it kind of stinks to actually have to worry about this, but um, steampunk is starting to kind of go back and forth between, like, being exciting to now being kind of overdone. We see it a lot in movies today. I still, for one, love the steampunk atmosphere. I mean, remember that Batman steampunk one? Oh, yeah, I don't I don't know about that one, but it's still there. Uh so this movie uh, centers around, obviously, Veronica Daring, who is looking for her father. Uh, some of the characters that are in the movie, uh, you got, of, co of course, you got Veronica Daring, the main character, who is also, her, I guess her name is Hello Baloo, so that's kind of like the main premise of it. Uh, Juliet uh, Fletcher, who is the, her best friend, who is the one that she meets uh, and decides that she's going to go and help her get along her journey to, meet, uh, to go and help her father, find her father exactly, and fix whatever issues there are. Uh, Jonathan Daring is obviously her father, who's just straight up, he's the guy who's missing, he's the reason for the story. Uh, and believe it or not, there's a villain in this, and of course, what wouldn't it be to have a very, very... Uh, prestigious businessman. He's a savvy businessman. J.D. Snickerbottom. I mean, <laughs> I guess we could go for that. Uh, but I guess he's, you know, he's trying. To, he was, he uh, builds things, but he kind of sucks at it. So he's looking for the Darings to, you know, give him his his one shot to pure fame and I guess a lot of money. And Daring wouldn't give that up because his inventions are. Designed for the good of all mankind. And J.D. Snickerbottom is wanting it for his own personal gain. Well, eh, plotline, it could be a little bit better in terms of being more, 
you know, original. But it still looks pretty awesome. And then you have the Cheshire Cat. No, I do not mean this fat blob of a cat that's purple and slightly pink, I guess, whatever. <laughs> you may have noticed that I'm not all there myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a hot Cheshire cat. Now, this is an elusive Cheshire cat, a cat burglar, if you, if you want to say, uh, to carry out the diabolical capers by placing her victims in submissive trance like state while reciting passages from Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland. Ooh, what gave it away? Uh, this character is awesome looking. I mean, uh, it, it's just. It's great. I'm really hoping to see more from this character. I think I'm going to wind up liking this character so much because she also has the power of invisibility. She can invade her captors just by like saying straight up, boom, I'm invisible now. Kind of like the Cheshire Cat in the other movie. Um, so you're going to see a lot. So this is a movie that is unfortunately I have not heard much from. I went back to the website, which you can visit at holobaloo-movie.com. Um... I have not seen much from this movie in recent years. I remember finding it uh, back in 2015, but since then, uh, it's kind of been uh, going under the radar. Now, I do see, now that I'm coming back here in 2021, the website is indeed updated to 2021. So this isn't a lost cause, people. So let's, let's just kind of get that out of our head. This isn't a lost cause. This is something that's going to happen. This is something that's going to definitely come through. I don't know exactly when this is going to happen, but it's going to happen. Uh, so it's been taking a long time. But again, like I said, 2D animation takes a very long time to get started on that. Uh, so, you know, without hesitancy, um, they're probably working their working themselves to the bone, um, trying to figure out how they're going to get this all together. Uh, so as far as the storyline goes out, you know the story, you know the characters. I hope you're just as excited about it as I am. Uh, again, if you go to holobaloo-movie.com, uh, you're going to see so much about it. In fact, some of the things that I've been talking about is pretty much what, uh, pretty much there. Now, again, this must be a lot of people, so it's kind of like a niche thing. So if you know about it and you've, you know, you know a little bit more about it, please, in the comments below, write something because I, I really want to know where this is at. I really want to know more about it. Uh, I've been following it for quite some time. I wanted to let people know that it's here, that it's exciting, that we're going to see a great movie. It looks like maybe a great multiple movies, um, but I am prepared for it. Anyway, folks, if you have any idea about this movie or if you like this one, please subscribe and like this video, and we will see you next time. Have a great one.